Hi guys, I'm Raval. Welcome back to this journey to TDD. Today I'm going to be introducing you to automated testing. So in this video, we're going to cover what do we mean by automated testing and we're going to discuss some of the different types of tests. So what do we mean by automated testing? It is standard practice to test our code. As developers, we are used to opening our browsers and testing what we have done. But what if we could automate this process? And what if we could test the majority of our application in just seconds? So what are the benefits of automated testing? Well, it builds confidence in our code. It allows us to test our application from different perspectives. So I had a really good analogy before and think of testing, testing application as an onion with many layers. So at the top level, we can test how a user interacts with our website. So by clicking around and we can actually emulate that and we can actually test our core of our application. So we can go right down and we can test, you know, single methods, single classes, and we can build our way up. This sort of testing saves the testing team a lot of time. It also saves you as a developer a lot of time as well. It allows for a baseline when refactoring. So we can have, let's say, method A with test B. And when we run test B, of course, it passes if our method A is fine. If we want to refactor method A, at least we have some sort of indication to say, well, look, I've changed method A, but is it going to break uh, method B, method C, or any other parts of our application? Our test, test B, should make sure that it does not. So if we pass test B after refactoring method A, then we can say with confidence that the rest of the system is not going to be affected by my changes. It allows us to deploy code without crossing our fingers and hoping for the best. So again, we can have all these tests, we can run them, and the test should cover the majority of your application. In most cases, it's not going to cover absolutely everything. But I can say, if you write your test properly, you should make sure it covers the absolute most important parts of your application. So when you do deploy code, you run your test first. If it all goes green, then you deploy. So it gives you that confidence in your, that, you know, your code base is fine. So acceptance tests. So this is something we actually do every day, whether it's, you know, you're a client or a manager or a developer. What you do is you write code as a developer, open a browser and checks to see if the code works. Acceptance test automates these actions. So you can actually recreate user actions using this type of test. So quick example here, you can test to see whether a user can log in. So the automated test will open a browser, will fill in a form, hit the submit button and check to see if your user is logged in. Any website can be covered with acceptance tests. So here are some pros of acceptance tests. It can be done on any website. We can test JS and Ajax. We can be confident users following our defined scenarios won't get errors. So what are the cons? It can be slow. Every acceptance test will be opening a browser, performing some actions, and then closing down. So if you have a lot of acceptance tests, it can take a while to do this. JavaScript can lead to issues. Example, if data is within a modal. So let's say we have a button on our page. When we press that button, a modal pops up, but it takes a second or so to appear because of a fancy animation. We have to make sure we cater for that second of the fancy animation because our code or our test runs very quickly and if we don't cater for it it's not gonna to our code it's like the form that we want to populate within the modal is not there so we need to make sure that we cater for this so functional tests with functional tests we emulate a web request these requests are sent to our app which responds with a HTML response. So we don't actually require a server to do this, we emulate web requests. These tests can provide us with detailed error exceptions. It is very similar to acceptance tests because we can emulate user actions. But what you need to understand is the difference between a functional test and an acceptance test is one, 
functional test emulates a web request and with acceptance test we are using a browser the other important difference is that with a functional test what you actually want to do with it is let's take an example of a form that uploads an image what with a functional test we are we are saying okay form can you upload an image if a user fills in the form selects an image hits upload does that image get uploaded to the server that is the function that's what we are testing but with an acceptance test it's sort of linked to acceptance criteria so let's say the client says yes I do want that form yes I do want to upload an image but I want to upload that image within a few seconds so we can write uh, an acceptance test to say okay can we uh, do this can we fill in the form can we upload an image but does it run under 10 or under 3 seconds or whatever it is so that is the difference between a functional test and an acceptance test. So here are some pros for functional tests. It doesn't require a server, it does not require a browser to be open, and it's more detailed than an acceptance test. So what are the cons? It cannot test JavaScript and Ajax, and it requires a framework. So let's discuss unit tests. Unit tests test individual parts of your code. So you can actually break it down to the core of your application. A unit can be an entire class. More often, it's just a method. So the pros, it's the fastest test to run. It can cover the smallest parts of your system and gives your code base stability. Cons, it does not test connections between units. So conclusion. Testing is not something that takes a lot of time to do. Even though we are writing extra code, it actually saves us time in the long run. Testing is paramount to code stability. Good developers will always write tests. So it's something that I encourage you to do. You won't lose out by writing tests because tests make sure that the application you are developing is stable. So thanks for watching guys. I hope that has cleared up a lot of stuff about automated testing. I hope that you now know what the benefits are, what the negatives are of the certain types of tests. And if you like this video, please hit that like button and remember to subscribe below. Thanks for watching guys.